In this video, I am going to attempt to make myself the perfect planner. Now obviously when I say perfect, I mean perfect for me. I found this amazing pink holographic planner on Amazon, which I will link below. It comes with a magnetic clasp and a bunch of pockets, and this one is A5 sized. And it looks like it has two pen holders, some pockets in the back, and for $10, I am not upset. So before I get started on anything, I'm going to go ahead and write down the things that I need to track on a daily basis, or I guess weekly basis in this case. Really, at the end of the day, most of my weekly, daily stuff turns into massive to-do lists. Another thing I need to track are my restocks for my shop. And then I need a bunch of space for brainstorming and ideas. I'm going to need a place for my Patreon rewards ideas. I'm also going to need a place for my YouTube video ideas and then maybe a spot just for design ideas. Another thing to consider is I, I don't like writing on this side, but maybe that'll be a good place to put like the brainstorming ideas sections because they won't be touched as much. I don't know. Actually, I think that's gonna work. I could put the weekly planners on this side and I could put the brainstorming on this side. And yeah, no, that should work. I also probably don't need as many pages for the brainstorming as I would for like the weekly planner because I'm probably going to need four of those for a month. And then I could just use the brainstorming for the entire time until it's full. That makes sense, right? Okay, so if I'm going to have the weekly planner on this side, I need to have spaces for every single day, or at least most of the days. I need a day off somewhere in there, right? Six days is good. This is really, really light, so I don't have to commit to anything. Ooh, and space themed. I just it just came to me. Cause that means I can have fun little stars and like maybe like a planet. Yeah. Ooh, and a UFO. Because they're coming for all of us. And I cannot wait. And it took me all of three seconds to get distracted by decorations. Makes sense. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't think this is gonna be enough space. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be enough space. I'm a very busy lady and I need space to write all my to-do lists that I'm never going to get to. So, I don't know, maybe I could do like a third of the page and we can write it in this direction. Would that even makes sense? Third? Somewhere in here is a third, I promise. Okay. So like a third of the page. And then maybe I could just write little vertical lists like this. I'm not even entirely sure that I would actually use the the binder like this though. I don't know. It could be an option. You know, decorate it so that it seems like maybe it's something. I, I don't know. Maybe I could have like a big restock page with like a checklist of all the things that I need to restock and I could check them off. Or I could try not being so stubborn and actually do a planner page on that side and this side so it's all together and I have lots of space. I'm not even entirely sure what my aversion is to writing on that side of the page. I don't know if it's just because my hand runs into the like bindings on like notebooks and stuff like that and I just don't have time for that. That's probably what it is, but I don't, I'm not really sure. But if I'm willing to ignore it, I think I can get this layout to work. So my plan is to start each month with a monthly goals page. Much like my current to-do list, my goals end up written everywhere. So maybe if I get them all in one place at the beginning of the month, um, maybe that will help. But also help if I could get rid of all these dusties. And I'll probably leave this page kind of blank, maybe just like a big rectangle kind of writing area. Okay, so we start with monthly goals, and then we have week one, week two, week three, week four, tracking for expenses, tracking for social media, and then my Patreon brainstorm and YouTube brainstorm pages. I am genuinely really excited. I think this is gonna work. And now that it's drawn up, I'm going to take this over to Corel Draw and figure out where placement's happening. I want to figure out where all my titles are going. I need to keep in mind where the hole punches are going to be on these pages. 
kind of fleshing out some of the colors I might want to use. I'm pretty sure doing this step is completely unnecessary, but I like doing it. Because if I already know where everything's going, drawing on top of it is so much easier. And I just need to grab the social media logos for the social media tracker. And then get a little bit overly complicated with the details of this template. I'm literally going to be redrawing this. But I won't have to guess where everything's going. And once it looks good, it's time to draw. I started with some spacey drawings I had already done, and then I went ahead and drew in some of the frames and added the titles. And of course I added shadows and highlights to everything, threw in some stars, went ahead and drew another planet because I didn't want to have too many duplicates, added some more stars because you can never have enough, and made sure everything was working with the same color scheme. Now I just need to bring all of the pages back over to Corel Draw and look at them in all of their majesty. These are gonna look so amazing in that binder. Once I have all my pages in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the hole punch template on everything so I can see where the holes are gonna go. And we're also going to add a bleed to all of these pages. And now all that's left is for me not to screw up the double-sided print. Y'all, look at these. Look at this. Look at this. If this doesn't appease the Lisa Frank loving preteen in my soul, I don't know what will. Freaking nailed the print job on the first try, which is usually impossible for me. And it looks so good. Now I just have to get this thing cut and hole punched. I will also link this hole punch down below. I got it off of Amazon as well. And it's pretty small, so only do a few pages at a time. And the final finishing touch will be rounding the corners with my slowly dying corner rounder. Also Amazon, but I, I don't know if I would recommend this one. So did I make my perfect planner? Well, I don't, I don't know yet, I haven't used it, but it looks amazing. The Patreon and YouTube page is printed on a thicker cardstock because I plan on keeping that one in there for a while. And then the rest of the pages are printed on my regular paper that I have. Everything came out really vivid and fun, and honestly, that's half of the battle to get me to use a planner. If it looks boring, there's a very good chance I'm not even going to take it off the shelf. But I definitely think with all these bright, fun colors and the fact that the layout is literally made for me, I think this might actually get me to consistently use a planner. But what do you guys think? Do you think this is a layout that'll be useful or is it just too colorful and distracting? And if you like colorful and distracting, I have a Patreon. You get new stickers every month and you help me decide on the theme. 
February's theme is coffee with a little bit of Aquarius mixed in there, thus the caffeine bearer. And I'll be putting up a poll soon to decide on what we're doing for March. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and hitting that like button, and I'll catch you guys later.